Hello and welcome back under the dome. Welcome back to Encased and Playing Hardball. We are here in the Nashville canalization in front of this door where apparently someone has survived. And that is actually quite interesting. Also, we are noticing that we can actually, well, we can't access this here, but there are containers there. So I guess Fox can do something because we do have uh, this here, the Spectre Psycho Psychokinetic Tea Glove. And with that, we can actually face shift. And I think that is what we can use to get over there. But maybe we, uh, firstly, we check out the room. So, there we are also super tired. Oh, yeah. 925. Lock picking for extra experience. Fatigue 75 though. Come on guys, let's close the door. There's no one here. But well, the person who was here uh, can't have left too long ago because there's a fire going, huh? And well, there's quite the mess here and insects flying over there so it's actually not the nicest place but that's all we have at the moment stack of documents and i think we need to take a nap here because there's also a morpheus sleeping bag more documents stack of equipment nothing Old box there. Some food. Oh, and a pile of crystals. The crystalline form of some local mineral, half transparent, can be used for crafting, though with some difficulty. Well, and the person survived on cockroaches, it appears, huh? Which means that the person, um, most likely, was actually a good fighter. Six onions and canned beans. Canned beans and sauce consumed preheated or as is. Well, we know it gives us flatulence, right? There's something here. Oh! And we found something. Scratched out on the wall is the date of the incident and dashes marking the days. Lots of dashes. Aha! Uh -huh. So someone has survived here. And then ran away. Well, that's actually not so bad. So let's look. Oh, yeah, we are close to falling over. Well, let us still give first aid to Crumb. That should cost only 100, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that was already too much. Okay, then. Um, so we need to lie down. I don't want to pop any more of these energy pills and all that stuff. That's not healthy. Well then, I hope there is no bad thing happening. So how long do we need to sleep? Let's sleep for... Uh, well, how long is this actually? 999. Let's, let's lie down for one hour. Just a very short nap, although we can't really keep our eyes open. Aha, uh -huh, 60. 60 points, okay. Well then, let's sleep for 10 hours. Or like, uh, no, just a second. Um, um, Seven, yeah, so like three in the morning. Let's do four o'clock in the morning. Just so we are not... Oh, what happened? Plunge in, We plunge into a strange but very real dream. 
We seem to be in the same place where we fell asleep, but the situation around us has changed. Now the small section of the sewage collector looks habitable. There's a kerosene lamp on a table made from a wooden crate next to a sleeping bag with some canned food and books. Sitting next to the sleeping bag is an unshaven, red-bearded man who we recognize as none other than Tim Ginsberg. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's try to communicate with the orange's consciousness. Ginsberg apparently senses something. He jumps up and gazes around at empty space with glazed eyes. Then he runs away, leaving his belongings behind. The dream ends before we can do anything. Getting up from the floor, we spot a patch lying on the ground. It was torn from Ginsberg's jumpsuit. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Interesting. And do, did we did we just get the this here? Then we can show it to the guy. Nash rule. No, okay. We, I think we could have used the key card here, but I always like to pick the lock the locks uh, just for the experience. That's the thing. Every little bit counts, especially. For us, as we have, uh, well, our learnability is actually pretty good right now with 108. That's actually pretty good. Also, thanks to our relics. And then there is something. We can climb a passage. Oh, yeah. Wow, we are still at 531. So, we really pushed ourselves, but that's what heroes do, right? Verse 8, on Crump, we are stealth, so we are, and, and that's why we have so much, uh, why we have so much um, learnability. It's simply thanks to our criminal mastermind. Learnability 25 and stealth, our cunning plans, right? Let's sleep for another two hours. Oh, we woke up. We woke up early, actually. Yeah, let's sleep for two hours. And then we help Fox. Good. Fatigue 611, yeah. Well, I mean, we have enough resources and we have uh, a lot of uh, stuff and two day rations of pulled pork. So everything is fine. Theoretically, we could also uh, produce more food here on the bonfire, but that's fine. So let's sleep some more. Just so we get rid of the the fatigue rate, and um, let's sleep maybe another four hours. That's not enough to get rid of too much, but uh, we should also. Huh? Ah, yeah. We don't have any negative effects now, but I think we should probably get going. So let's save. I was a bit worried that this whole strong psychic irradiation has some adverse effects. But on the other hand, like if there, if there was someone here who survived so long, then uh, that should be okay, right? So climb passage to lower drains. What's that? Between two steel panels, bowing from the weight of crumbling rock, we see a narrow passage from which warm, musty air wafts. We could, perhaps, climb inside of the gap in the wall was a little wider. Muscle 8. Crump. That's a job for you, isn't it? Slightly shift the panels using raw physical strength. We lean against the warped sheets of metal and shove them apart with a grinding noise. The passage is now wide enough to climb through. 
Yeah, which unfortunately which also goes both ways, doesn't it? But well. And by the way, how's our experience situation? Oh yeah, well we need some more. Oh, Fox has way more experience than Crump, by the way. Hmm. Let's climb through the passage. So I wonder how it works with the Oh yeah, we found the secret, okay. So here. Yeah, we've seen this. Ah, yeah. We can climb through, okay. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. We can, we can just uh, sneak through. Let's go here. Ah. And there we go, okay. Ah, yeah. And this is where we wanted to go. This is the, uh, the truck parking lot ladder. Okay, that's good. Search the container. Oh. Nothing is in there. But we got, we discovered the secrets there and we got a lot of exp uh, explorative uh, explorative um, experience for that. So I think we do this one like before. Fox, face shifts, hard wall, what? Ah. Well, it's interesting that she can't see us. And there. It always hurts a bit, but I think it's worth it. There's something here. What? An empty container. Well, then that wasn't worth it. Ah. Can she actually face shift us there? Now it's out of range, of course. We come back here. There. That was kind of painful. But well. Oh, come on. I did this because I wanted Fox to be stealthy as well. So we need to check this one out. So otherwise, I mean, we've checked everything here. There are uh, containers here. Um, we checked out this here, exterminated the cockroaches. We've been here. We checked out everything over here. We've been here, we climbed over this pipe. There was this uh, puppeteer cockroach, very nasty that commanded the zombies so here we go so i think we are except for the other containers here we are actually through so let's go there and then oh okay let's get some distance there yeah so these are afflicted these guys are afflicted. Oh, and this one is obsessively uh, spraying something. Oh, I wonder if that is actually a flamethrower or something. And then we've got a black winger. He's got some form of rifle or shotgun. Now, most likely rifle. And then we've got an, a silver. Gives generous promises. It's got a laser pistol. And here, with these trucks, we need to uh, install the thing. However, um, I think we need to clear those out first before before they will destroy what we build up there. Uh, let's scan this one. Ralph Burrows. 
28 orange wing, cause of death, asphyxia caused by strangulation. Oh. So we've got another murder victim, huh? What does he have? Nothing. Hmm. That's not much. Then... Let's firstly check out those. Brian Murphy, 35, orange wing, cause of death, abdominal puncture, blood loss. Oh, someone stabbed him in the gut. Oh, and he's got, oh, nice, criminal, plus 20, magazine, some beer and the salmon snack, all right. Okay, well, so I think we need to shoot these guys. Um, and probably the... the the black first. Come around like this. Get into a good position, guys. And by the way, Fox, I want you to actually use the super. This here. That is nice and powerful. You go here. The white also has a laser pistol. This guy comes around like so. And Crump. You're approaching here. Let's make a little ambush. So I feel that we, we, we need to take out the black first. And then maybe even the blue. Because the blues can jump around and and uh, they seem to be rather resilient or oh, the guy or oh, 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 the guy just came around like this doesn't see us in our orange overalls fortunately there coming crump you get closer fox you also get closer and then you actually do a C-shock on the guy. There. There, very nice. Oh, the guy has a lot of uh, initiative. He's on alert now. Ready for combat for 30 seconds. Suspect something, yeah. So the rifle looks terrifying. Yeah, it looks like it looks like some kind of carbine. Sea shock. They are very good. Come on, take him out. 100% hit chance. They are very good. Very good. Very good. Someone from the outbreak did it. Some outsider. Yeah. Sorry about these guys, but they are basically dead. Um. Oh, did the combat end for a second and then restart or something? Well, let's, let's shoot her by all means. Ah! Castling. No, I think we, we'd rather go for the... Or the... She has 219 hit points. Yeah, Psychic is the best way to go. Cryo. Yeah, she's like very tanky. Oh, and Guts 14. How can someone have Guts 14? Well, if we have 16 points in uh, intelligence and this guy. Ah, Psychic Resistance 10, that's good. 11 Charisma and Psyche 8 but Psychic Resistance minus 10. Ah well, it's like because of the strong Psychic re Irradiation. No? And this here, the white, fortunately she's very far away so I guess she needs like two turns before she can start shooting at us or something. So let's do another Psy Shock. 
They are very good. We are not doing too much damage with that though. And well, Fox. You can actually take cover behind this pole here. Just in case this, this silver starts shooting. I wish we could just turn around. But I think we can't, right? Can't turn around. Huh? No. W A S D doesn't do anything. No. No. Well, what to do? And then we run away like this. Well, I guess she could probably... Yeah, she, I think she has a flamethrower. Yep, it's a flamethrower, okay. Yeah, let's walk like this then. Could have st stood there. Crumb, you come out of hiding. Run up for eight. That's... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well. That's not so good. But, well, at least we can do a jab. And therefore, get the crew down. Bam. Yeah, we are just stand, staying back. Like, like going there and then we are uh, leaving the AP. Poor thing. Burning. Yeah, burning. Okay, so Fox. Do some more Psyche attack. Someone touched us, covered our place with their scent. What does she have here? Distracting looks. Oh, yeah, well. Okay, and she called for help. Ah, the others didn't notice. Oh, well, they. They know that something is going on, but the good thing is that, uh, well, then we are keeping the two AP here. Oh yeah, there they come, okay. Oh, they can shoot us, okay. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have happened behind the pole, but well. So now crump. Headbutting. Poor woman. Punching. And that's it, huh? Two AP. Yeah. Skipping the turn. Well, and we've been beaten up a bit, so and we we are actually uh, skipping further, saving the AP. You give, you receive. Shooting. And another P shock on her. Yeah, we're just rather killing one after the other. They are, they are basically dead anyway. Ah, yeah, and actually this way we get. Yeah, Crumb can finish her off. So let's. Uh... Well, let's actually go back like here and then behind the pole. So here we are and then we are skipping the turn. Oh, okay. Well, it is it is not really a good place. Oh, oh, we got a lot of uh, oh, we are burning. Well, it burns. The flame will continue to rage if it is not knocked down. Well, but now the jab is enough to finish her off. There you go. And run up to this guy. We've got six. Mm. Well, and now that they have distance weapons, let's headbutt the guy. Bam, he's stunned. 
and we are keeping two points for the next turn. And we as the boss, we stay behind and do nothing, right? We just watch our guys to do, do the work. Now we are going, we are moving up like there. Observing from the shadows like the true super villain who lets his minions do the work, right? So minions, punish them. We're just saving the AP. Okay, and she can really do some damage here. Uh, well, the, the burning is like, well, so Psy Shock. Would have done more before for some reason. But well. Let's have another one. And the third one. Ah, but the good thing is, well, he's done, so uh, he has some problems. Oh, crit. Crit on Fox. Oh, the, the thing, the situation is getting a bit out of hand here. So let's punch the guy once and twice. It's gone. And, and I think he could actually activate here. Yeah, he could hide behind the rocks there. Huh? Let's do that. Stealth and then we run back. Let's hope we are not. Uh, what is this? We are we are an electric shock also. Let's go back. I, I hope he's not being incapacitated now. But we can go here for 10. Yeah. Ah. And this costs 8. What a pity. Now, well, then we are going here for 8. Let's hope Crumb survives the turn. This would, this would be kind of... Uh, well... Frustrating, even. And now you attack this one. I wonder why their their stats change. Psychic resistance is still ten. Only ten. Hmm. Maybe it's because we are distracted and stuff. shock there oh we, I think we could have gone into a sneak motor and I think we can like let's go let's go here and then we activate stealth we are inside okay like here Yeah. She's looking for us. Okay, now things are a close thing. Crump goes here. Wait. We are using first aid on Crump. They are very nice. We saved his life. Excellent. Health recovery. And then we are actually getting out of the side range. Well, and then we are just skipping the turn. Oh, she's now she's incapacitated. Oh, come on. Well, then. But that's actually interesting. Mm. Um, so we don't want to be poisoned with the delay poison and we don't want to be burned. Huh? Is there anything else that we can do, by the way, that we could, uh, well, we could put on the Panakia. Yeah. And I think it's actually probably time to do that. Let's put this one on. Fox can do that too. What is this again? Evasion plus seven. Well, didn't help her much. She didn't evade. 
I think a single time so off you go and you get this one here as well let's let's do it like this so and we are waiting for the black wing but that actually that worked pretty nicely Also because we uh, we don't do so much uh, noise, we don't cause so much noise. Or oh, actually, that's even better now. Fox, there. Very nice. And let's have another one. Very good. That was stealthy. Very nice. And um, Fox, you better go back into stealth. Excellent. 119 experience points for that. Crumb. Very nice indeed. Saving the progress. Someone touched us. Covered our places with their scent. Someone touched us. Covered our places with their scent. Okay, well that didn't didn't work well. But the others haven't noticed anything yet. Okay. So you attack her. Oh no, we don't have a chance here. I don't know why Crumb didn't attack her. I clicked on her like twice, three times. He just came up or something. Ow. Is she crying for help? Ow. I think probably no one hurt her, huh? Well then, you run here like so. Then we've got 5 AP, which means we can do the headbutt. There are traces of fractals. Which stuns her traces and, and a jab. Ugh. Well, we are actually creeping out of her detection range. Like there. Ending the turn. We don't want to be shot at. Oh yeah, okay, now, now they come and they shoot, huh? Yeah, that was another... Yeah, come on. So, let's try. Let's try something. So they, this one, the white one, is the one that is actually running around rather erratically. And right now is, there's actually a good chance to get the, to the blue, who's isolated. So Fox, you go here. On the other hand, we could also wait that... Oh yeah, she's actually coming over here, okay. Oh yeah, she's coming over there, okay. So Crumb, you go here. Fox. There and you shoot her. There's outsider radiation everywhere. Someone passed through here, scattering their And I think around. the others didn't notice anything now. Sea shock. Ugh. Have another one. Oh, it costs four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like so. But she's going to cry out for help now. Let's save the AP yeah. for the next turn. Someone from the outside did it. Some outsider. Frostbite. Oh yeah, and this guy. I think like the red means they are alerted so well. Crump runs here. 
Headbutting her from behind. And then we've got only one AP left, so one jab. And that's it. Skipping the turn. Fox is in a bad position here. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, so what I want to do... We are increasing our high-tech weapons now, because what do we need? So, after this mission, we are getting the servo shell, right? And then I want immediately 60 points on piloting, especially for the servo shell learnability, which means... We're pushing this one to 60, and then we've got 16 points left. High tech. We're at 47. Yeah, that's actually excellent. So we can get to 60 there. Like so. And then we can also shoot a psychedelic dart. Okay. But we, the piloting skill we, uh, we don't allocate right now. Just in case something else comes up. Um. So, but this is what we can, how we can roll, I think. So let's do it like, like this, and then we can shoot. Let's shoot the psychedelic dart on Hertz, 100%, and then they are very good. And well, I think we can just creep here. It was basically the sniper shot. Oh, they come, they are coming. Okay, this guy. Running in. Dead. Oh. Is he shock? Ah, oh, well, actually, she can rather shoot the blue, uh, the black, uh, the the silver here. Yeah. Let's shoot the silver. Oh, 61, Very nice. Can get rid of this guy quicker. And then let's energize Crumb. Energize, excellent. And now Crumb. Can you do the sweep against both of them? And if you are here. Yes, you can. But only with 75%. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Good. Knocked out. Excellent. Um, you go here and turn. You wanna play, Barry. Oh no, and she's shooting here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to get out of the detection range like this, and I want a cleaving dart just 70 for some reason I'm not sure why then let's shoot another psychedelic dart on that one there yeah Minus 30 resilience, minus 100% view radius and detection radius, so... And then we move around like this. We've got four points left. And I wonder if we shoot this guy. I mean, he doesn't have the... Uh, yeah, it's just knocked out. Well, let's shoot the psychedelic dart on this guy as well. Oh yeah, good. Very nice. Was that a, a crit? Yeah. Nice. Good. Very good. One problem less. Skipping the turn. Now it's Fox. Do you wanna play, Fox can do something. Yeah, we need to finish off this one. And by the way, 
This one has 45 biochem resistance, yeah. Because we would have seven points to attack with. Target weak spot. Well, by all means, let's do that then. There we go. Uh, she's not at 24%. Let's target the weak spot. 30. Um, no, let's do the lunge. Because then we can use the other attack. Oh, nice. Okay, good. That's, that solved that problem. Because my idea had been to do the mercy strike after that. And then crit hit chance is... Plus 50% of the target's health is below 25 and it would have been. So that's good. Switching back here to this one. And I think we can actually let's do this here. The cast link. Swap places. Oh no, it costs oh yeah, it costs three. Yeah. And then uh, Crump will be close to her. Let's do that. There. Very good indeed. And Crump. Come from behind. Headbutting her. Very good. So she's stunned and under psychedelics. Um. And we do have some other stuff, right? The cutter. Yeah. I think we. Let's try the cutter. Did that work? Yeah, she's scared now. Okay. Minus two. Another two action points, so. Because she has so many action points, and then we ah! punch her a bit. Crump is not on fire yet, however, he's got the electric shock. So, and her psychedelics go on for three more turns. And I think, well... Yeah, we can't do much, so... Let's actually fall back a bit, like so, and then we are... Ending the turn, saving our APs. Fox uses C Shock. Have another one. Good. Saving one AP for the next turn. Then it's Crumb's turn again. You start. Well, she's still headbutted, isn't she? Yeah. So let's save it for later. One jab. Oh, well, actually, we could. Um, the cooldown time is one. Got nine. No, no, let's attack three times like this. I feel that we should actually upgrade the Vaira. Let's reload this one for one AP. And then we've got 12 points. And she's not under psychedelics. Oh, but now she's actually enraged. Oh, actually, well, we should have headbutted her some more because now she's enraged. But well. So the psychedelic dart. Ah! There. Skipping the turn. 
and then Fox is finishing her off. Two attacks. There. Very good. We made it. We made it. We made it. Very good. Very good indeed. And well, we got a bit of experience there. Everyone is a bit messed up now. So who's this? Afflicted, Black Winger. It's Philip Talbot. 27, Black Wing, cause of death, death, multiple internal injuries, blood loss. Internal injuries, so he's been beaten up, huh? What does he have? Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. Naked. Bullets. Then we've got this afflicted blue of the flamethrower. Lily Perez. 25, blue wing. Poor thing. Multiple internal injuries, blood loss. She's also been beaten up. Ah, oh yeah, nice. Some electrical equipment. And then that's an afflicted white. Gabriela Torino. 31, white wing, cause of death, multiple internal injuries, blood loss. So they all have the same thing. I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't necessarily... Oh, nice. Red force. Doesn't necessarily mean that they have been beaten up by people. And we've got the silver here. Chronos tag. Uh, yeah, sorry. Silver wing 42. Bullet wounds, blood loss. Okay. Oh, someone shot him in the face, huh? Well. That is gruesome. Okay. Snacks and other snacks. And then we've got Bri the Brian we already know about. Well then. So, we've cleared the parking lot. Let's let's have a look around. Um, so I guess we need to install it. It's potato. Ah, yeah, here, install the tracking device that's here. A handicraft device resembling a seismograph designed to collect data on the nature and fluctuations of the Psi field. Ah, yeah, yeah. We can install it here. Yeah, okay. So, but that, my dear fellow guys and gals, under the dome, we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts you wish to share on the game oh there's a grave here um we are yeah we are checking the grave and we are installing the device in the next episode and if you have any thoughts you wish to share on the game yeah your feelings what do you think any tips and tricks as you know you're very welcome to do so please write what you think in the comment section and well and if you have any questions for example please do so as well and look, there's a beautiful subscription button and a like button, shiny as they are. Please click them not only to make me happy and increase your karma, but to gain a nice bonus to your luck today. The good luck. See you next time. Bye-bye.